Skeptical people are going to say this is all audio matrixing. This is all random bleed through from a radio station, whatnot. And uh, either you're audio matrixing, you're hoaxing them because they're so clear what we've got to do now, or um, that they're just random oh, signals coming in from a walkie talkie or a ham radio. Um, what I found over uh, my three years of researching this is that's not the case. This is some form of intelligence. Um, I can only tell you what they tell me. They ask me for prayer. Um, and here's an example of that where I ask them to spare what you desire because they keep asking and you can hear the response. Is prayer on what you desire? Pray. Pretty clear. Um, you know, is prayer on what you desire? You can't say the word pray anymore now, and that's it, and that lady that's did. That's pretty clear. It's pretty clear. Um, so they are asking me for prayer. Um, so are they spirits? Um, here's a que where I ask the question, are you dead or alive? Are you dead or alive? Dead? Yes. Play it again for you. Are you dead or alive? Dead. So, you say he's dead, I say dead, and he goes, yes. Yeah. So I think that's pretty good validation that, at least uh, in that case, I was talking to someone deceased. That's, you know, I can only, I tell people, I don't only tell you what they tell me. Um, you know, I've got many examples. I, I like was the way they answer his questions, though. That's Excuse me? like the way they answer your questions. Right. Um, Appropriately. Mm -hmm. All of, you know, and that's my argument against the skeptical view of this is audio matrix thing, or you can tell that's not a professional DJ. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't hear any music, and that's on a sweeping FM band on the device I was using. Mm -hmm. So uh, if that's bleed through, widen their singing and music, and widen their big DJ announcer voice instead of what you hear on this recording. Um, I posted some videos on YouTube. Um, there was a show on online radio and the title of the show was Inside the Box and that's the show was just totally about the ghost box communication. Uh, the gentleman that was hosting the show was named Bruce uh, Holiday. Um, he asked me to try to record a file for his show and again, this is just a validation file where I asked him to say the name of his show, which was Inside the Box. So let's see what we hear as a, a response to that. Can you say Inside the Box? Mm. So whisper, Inside the Box. Can you say Inside the Box? So when I get them like that, it kind of makes a chill run up and down my arms because I'm hearing those in real time. As, as I ask a question, I'm hearing the responses. Uh, one theory is because the white noise created by the continuous sweeping of the bands and the fact that we're providing uh, amplified speaker in the radio uh, is what makes it uh, so much easier for them to speak on the radio than say just on a recorder, the voices on the recorder. Um, so each time I get something like this, um, it's a validation for me because I, no one had a harder time believing in me than me, you know, that this was really happening. Yes, this isn't science fiction or wishful thinking or audio matrix thing. This is actually some form of uh, communication. I did an online TV show for a, almost a year and the name of the show was Echoes from Beyond that dealt with electronic voice phenomena and, and uh, the spirit radios. 
And each week I'd sit down and I'd try to do a session um, to have something to play on my show for the viewers. And uh, on this particular one, which is a very good file, I just asked them to say the name of the show. The name of the show was Echoes from Beyond. We just called it for short Echoes. Let's see what we get here. You say Echoes. It takes a while for them to say it, but you don't hear anything in between. Thank you. You say Echoes. Thank you. Pretty clear, he said echoes. I mean, there's no possibility that that's random, at least in my view. As I say, I've got hundreds of uh, validation files. Um, and here's one where I just asked him to repeat my name. Let's see what you hear. I missed the, Thank you. I missed the first uh, little bit of it. Let's do it again. He's a student. That's the trick. You know, to me that's clear. It's shouting. Uh, Steve. So that, you know, again, that's just validation. A lot of times I'll ask them to say someone's name and they get tired of playing the game sometimes because uh, here's what I got when I ask them to say hi to Scotty. You say hi to Scotty. <laughs> That's stupid. You say hey to Scotty. That's stupid. That's stupid. Um, you know, I'm always trying to find answers. Um, again, the ghost box has no transmit button. So I like to ask them, uh, in this case I ask them, what do you call this device that you're using the talk on. I'm not talking on it, I'm just talking into the air like I'm talking to you. Whatever's answering me is using the device. And uh, this is what I got. This was just last week. <laughs> now I'm hearing a safe speaker. The, the first time's not as clear to me as the second. What do you call the Shabaki's talk on? And they're in speaker. Um, so they're just calling what they're, and, and they're right, they're talking on a speaker. Um, as they got more involved in the ghost box technology, there's an older gentleman, retired electronics engineer, his name's Joe Siopi. He saw some of my work on YouTube, he was impressed with it, and he said, hey, I manufacture these boxes. Um, I'd like to send you one. I was very flattered, they're hard to get, he hands build them. They're hard to get, they're expensive and uh, you have to wait a long time. So he sends me one and I get it in the mail and I take it out and I turn it on and I say, can you tell me who created this box, this ghost box? So the correct answer would be Joe. It's the Joe's box, that's what he calls this device. So uh, here's the first question I ask it when I got it. What do you call this box? Not what name. Get the wrong one. That's the speaker. You know who created this box? Joe. Yeah. Yes, Joe. No, thank you. They don't get much clearer than that. That's pretty clear. <laughs> and again, what Joe. is accepted by science, I believe, is the law of percentages. Um, you know, and I always ask all you mathematicians and bookies out here, what are the odds that when I took a Joe's box, turned it on, the first question I asked, do you know who created this box? Even though it was a one word response, it was the correct name. So the odds of that are just completely astronomical. Well, they call it a ghost box. Um, they tell me they're ghosts. Here's a short clip. Ghost. They're ghosts. Yeah. Yeah, that's now that's pretty clear. I hear the female voice say, We're ghosts. And I didn't ask her that question, she volunteered the information. So maybe they are. <coughs> when I end the 
conversation just like I would talking to you, I ask him to tell me goodbye. Here's an example. This hardly ever fails. electronic sounding voice, but I hear it saying goodbye. Mm -hmm. I think that's, uh, you know, I can play um, several examples. Here's another one. Tell me goodbye. Just said bye. Tell me goodbye. That almost never fails. I almost get, always uh, get that response. Um, Here's another one. Every time I get one of these, I feel like it's validation. Well, tell me goodbye. Bye-bye. 